there are there are no easy games, um, and that's a good thing. I think kids come to Connecticut to play in those kinds of games. I, I guess I think one of them said the hate is real. So um, if for us, you know, our players understand that when they come to UConn, there's a they have a target on their back, and you know, people love to see us lose, and so we you know have to find kids that embrace that and then can play through it, and, and we've been able to do that. UConn did that two years ago when they recruited Dorky Juhas. The 6'5 grad transfer had an amazing game after she missed the last seven games with a hand injury. Juhas had five blocks, 15 points in the contest, and was so happy to be back on the court. Um, I'm definitely tired. Uh, you know, it's, I, was, I was practicing for one week, you know, and I missed a lot of playing, but I don't know, kind of like just being back with my teammates and being on the court kind of gave me that adrenaline, I think, that kind of pushed me through the hardest times when I was a little tired. But, um, you know, I'm just happy to be back. Hopefully, you know, now that I'm getting more practice time, uh, it's going to get better in the conditioning part and everything. But it was definitely great to be out there. The player of her fellow front court mate, Aaliyah Edwards, was electric for the Huskies. 26 points and 7 rebounds. Playing jump shots and having time left for movement, Edwards was the most dominant player on the court. Aaliyah, I mean, she was amazing today, but I feel like she's been on that level since we started the season. And seeing her bounce back from last season when she wasn't on the level that, you know, she's supposed to be and that she is preparing every day for, um, I'm super proud of her and we are all so happy to have her on, her, on our team. Grad transfer, Lou Lopez Senegal, was a closer today. With over eight minutes left in the fourth quarter, Lopez Senegal picked up her fourth foul. Coach Daly elected to keep the graduate transfer in the game, which ended up being the right decision. Timely defense and clutch shot making led to the 85 to 77 victory over the Seminoles, the last game before conference play. She scored today. 23. 23 so, points. I mean, that's that's normal. That's obvious for Lou. We always expect that from her. She always sets that standard for herself. But I feel like the first thing I told her in the locker room is um, your defense pulled us out today, and that she, her defense was amazing today. We're glad to have her on our team.